Air sign Libra, welcome back to the channel, my guys and gals, my favorite sign. <laughs> we are gathered here today for your love messages, love and romance, matters of the heart. Come into this particular reading or video, liking the video, and subscribing to the channel so that we continue to grow. You can get access to more videos like this in the future. We do have an active playlist for Libras on the channel. So yeah, we're going to jump right into your love energies. During the pre-shuffle, uh, I got the Empress and the Page of Cups. Uh, and then also the Lovers as well. So good energies for you um, as of right now. At least that's what it seems like. Let's jump right into your love energetics and see what's uh, currently surrounding you, what's coming towards you, and what you need to know. Perhaps who wants to connect with you romantically, right? Let's see what your person is thinking and what they have to say. All right. Clear and accurate messages for Libra today, Spirit, please and thank you. It's a lot of clouds out, and they're moving pretty fast. All right, air sign, collective, 111 on the timer. Start your love reading. Love messages for our air sign, Libra, please and thank you, Spirit team. What does the Empress need to know? Justice. All right, so I don't think there's any jumpers. I'll shuffle once more, and then we'll get into your messages. Grounding your reading. Hmm? The tower card. I did see the tower card as well. I actually had to restart your uh, reading because I didn't like the intro. <laughs> but the tower card, shocking, right? Destruction of a tower or some sort of a foundation. It uh, also initiates change and transformation as well as Scorpio Major Arcana. So this could be a very powerful moment, a very powerful event, or some sort of an intuitive download. Ace of Wands. We got Ace of Wands energy in the pre-shuffle as well, so I'm, I'm glad to see these cards are reconfirming themselves. Fire sign energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So this is a new beginning in regards to love and romance for you. Mm -hmm. Someone feels very passionately about you. Possibly very sexually attracted to you as well, but this could be um, like new new creativity, a burst of uh, you know creative creativity or passion or whatever the case may be. I've been feeling like my energy <laughs> all morning has kind of been not off in like a bad way, but I feel like a lot of youthful energy, almost like giddy as well. The Nine of Swords, sleeplessness, nervousness, anxiety, right? Mental illness. It could be mental fatigue. The Ace of Wands and the Nine of Swords. We have the Strength card. Someone's trying to hold back their passion towards you. That's what this is. Libra, right? Who doesn't want a Libra? <laughs> a Leo, perhaps, or some sort of an alchemist. Someone with strong fire sign energy. I mean, they don't necessarily have to be a fire sign, but they could have a strong, strong fire sign energy. An alchemist, perhaps. The king of cups. Yeah, exactly. This person's trying to hold back their passion for you, their love and their romance that they want to bring to you. The king of cups is the most romantic king of them all, right? Emotionally open, emotionally mature. Right? It's Scorpio energy, so double Scorpio energy here. You could definitely be dealing with a water sign or someone with strong water sign placements. Yeah, it seems like a very powerful individual. Mm -hmm. Imagine the King of Cups wielding the Ace of Wands. Right? So we got Ace of Wands energy, strength, and the King. This person, yeah, they feel they desire you a lot. <laughs> this is what I'm going to say. <laughs> the Ace of Pentacles, another Ace. Yeah, this is a new opportunity coming towards you. This King of Cups, right, wants to bring this. Um, and it looks like. I don't know if this is like, I don't know if this is after some sort of a devastation or some sort of a transformation or whatever the case may be. Maybe this person may have had to ha have had to end out some sort of a cycle. The Ace of Wands, yeah, that's new. That's a new adventure. Even the Ace of Pentacles, that's usually financial. So it could be a new job or some sort of a seed being planted financially or again, new commitment, right? My wedding ring card. From a very romantic person that feels very strongly about you, right? The strength card can boost the energy of uh, corresponding cards around it. Yeah, this person has been having... I'm not sure if they've been having dreams about you, but they definitely think about you a lot. Yeah. They have you on the mind. <laughs> Tower card. Yeah, exactly. 
that's what it is. Downloads. <laughs> they feel played with thoughts of you. Okay, so that this may even be a psychic connection that you have with this person, right? Most Libras tend to be twin flames. Well, not most Libras tend to be twin flames. Most Libras, they're the relationship sign of the zodiac. So usually, right, the people that's more invested in love and relationships and that sort of thing would be more geared towards a serious relationship like a marriage or if you get spirit, if you want to get spiritual, a twin flame connection or whatever the case may be, right? Soulmates. But yeah, I definitely see a new opportunity. This, this King of Cups type individual definitely wants to bring a lot of passion to you. The tower card, right? We know they're sexually attracted to you. You could even have a psychic connection with this person, or again, again, they're they're plagued <laughs> with thoughts of you. <laughs> this is then when they wake up in the morning, and then when they go to sleep. Yep. <laughs> they're infatuated with you. Four of Cups, yeah. They found what they've been looking for, basically. A very again, the King of Cups. He's in control of his emotions. He can hide his emotions if he wants to, right? <laughs> Again, this person holding off emotionally, not re accepting emotional advances. This could be a form of emotional meditation as well. Right? Happy being single or whatever the case until this cup arrives. <laughs> a spiritually guided connection. Yeah. So this person is, uh, a, a, it's my picky card. This person is picky. Let's see what else we're getting. The Knight of Swords. Yeah, they want to communicate with you. They want to talk with you. Three of Wands, yep, Distance, waiting on their ships to come in, or my wanting to meet you halfway card. They could be attempting to manifest you. Yeah, they want to communicate with you. This could be like text message, phone call, email, Skypes, DM, whatever the case may be. Yeah, two sevens as well. Seven of Wands, which is the last card, and under that would be the Seven of Pentacles. This person wants to grow something with you. They want to build something with you. I'm getting cherished, so yeah. Um, they want to grow a, a love romance with you. Yeah, even the Seven of Wands is here with the Ace of Wands. And the Seven of Pentacles is here with the Ace of Pentacles. That's two eights. <laughs> with the infinity symbol here, eight. Okay. Right. Yeah, this person wants to come in for a powerful connection, reoccurring energy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's what I'm getting for you, Libra. Very strong energy is coming from this person. They want to communicate with you. They definitely want to love on you. They're romantically attracted to you and they hold holding back a lot of passion, a lot of sex passion uh, towards you as well. But two aces, right? Um, a doorway to happiness. Yeah, we have the lover's card. Mm -hmm. They're trying to manifest you as a soulmate. Right? As their lover. Like the video and subscribe to the channel Libra for more readings like this in the future. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.